the Chinese, passive aggressively or not, you know, told people from this side of the world that they were going to devalue or would like to devalue on the order of 10 to 15 percent. So they passive aggressively tried doing that day to day uh, and that didn't work. And then when they got called out on it, they said, whoa, we don't really want to do that. So now they're lying to you, just like GDP. Actually, you really know that they're lying to you. This is, I had to write this one down, Darius, because mm -hmm. um, this is the first time the Chinese in their GDP report last night, they said this. They said, the figures are real and they can be trusted. <laughs> I was like, that, they literally wrote that, you know, th th that's what the Chinese government said about their GDP report. The that's numbers it. are real and they can be trusted. What does that imply about the rest of them? <laughs> yeah. That's like Bill Clinton saying that I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I mean, this is like so <laughs> obvious, okay? So obvious. They're making up the numbers. Um, so again, this is, this is what's going on. So the Chinese are making it up now that they don't really want to devalue because they told everybody at the Macrocosm Conference, which was a long time ago, uh, I forget the date actually at this point, but again, plenty of buy-siders were talking about this because the buy-side literally heard it from former PBOC members uh, right out of their own, own mouth. Um, so the Chinese, they're already doing what they're doing. It's a, it's a disaster and now they have to lie about it. What the Saudis do, I mean, I think everybody's pretty sure that the Saudis have been lying to the Americans a lot lately. Uh, they'll take care of themselves on their own path. They'll do what they want when they want. You can obviously see that. They just did that most recently uh, with Iran. So they're going to do what they want. You have no edge on that. Should, should the Saudis depeg? I don't know. They think, but people think that when their economies go to hell in a handbasket, that every Western academic, every Keynesian, every ideologue, uh, everyone that's ever ran the Federal Reserve since Paul Volcker has basically taught all these economies, whether it be China, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, or otherwise, that when you slow, what you do is devalue. Because then you're going to make everything fine. And then when it's not fine, then they got to say, oh, we didn't really mean to devalue. That's how it goes. That's called the currency war. That's why we're in the final innings of it.